Be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same with the Grizzly Gentleman, 10% off at checkout on your fantastic beard products. Or you could shop via the TCG Player affiliate link in the description down below to help support the show. And last, but of course not least, you can go to Grave Viking Games with the uh, affiliate link below to pillage some sweet arena codes. What is up, Planeswalkers Theric 6, back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Today is Bolus Day. Right? Yeah. Time, time screwed. Um, so yeah, today is Bolus Day. We have a few different types of Bolus builds we can play. Uh, we got uh, Moist Mardu, Steamy Sultai, and Bolus Black. I don't think I played Moist Mardu yet, right? No, I think I just played Esper Bolus. I haven't actually played these. Anyway, we're going to play Bolus Black today. So Bolus Black is a deck that's arena okay <laughs> is a deck that kind of takes the idea of chromatic black and shoves some nickel boluses in it <laughs> this is this is essentially just um the karn chromatic black uh, the karn black version has karn the great creator in a karn board uh, instead of uh, maximize acquisition and a larger uh, sideboard to uh, wish from but essentially, uh, we're just playing Nicobolus and uh, Nicobolus in addition to kind of the normal stuff that you'd see us play uh, in a build like this. Uh, so we're going to play this in best of one. Uh, we're playing this in best of one because have a, we have a wish board, but uh, it's it's only a... Um, it's only a Karn wish board. Like, since they're all one-ofs, we can't really sideboard properly. I have played best of three um, games with this. And they went fine. They were just accidents. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Um, so let's see how it goes in best of one. Uh, this ends fine. A mind stone down on turn two. Got some turn three removal. Always wary of uh, turn one island. Uh, I, I assume this is going to be mono blue. How could I have known? Have the enchantment. Typically in a situation like this, um, when Mono Blue has the spell, the, the creature and the, uh, the enchantment, you're probably going to be doomed. We pass here next turn... Next time we try to get them with their pants down and, and kill the Spectral Sailor, uh, we just don't know if we'll be able to. Okay, so we get hit for two here. We get to draw another card. Do they cast anything? Probably not. They cast things at instant speed. So we'll just uh, pass. And hope that our opponent um, taps out completely. Curse. the hit. They almost certainly have protection here. I'm just hoping that they play something else. I doubt that they will. One thing that we potentially get a benefit for in um, forcing them to tap out on their turn is that if we top deck a uh, if we top deck a Languish, we're going to be a little bit more likely to be able to actually resolve it. The Languish would get rid of all of their board. Just lofty denial. We didn't draw the languish. And notably. Oh, we can actually play Bolus here. Yeah, we could play Bolus here. We'll play the beacon. Use this to tap the beacon for blue and red. Get to cast Bolus. Uh, we get plus Bolus, but he dies immediately. Uh, it might be better just to go Lops here. Play this. Golos. If we grab a Cascading Cataracts. 
definitely not in a great position. I think we actually have to one drop, two drop, one drop. Sideboard. We have a ratchet bomb. I mean, we have a ratchet bomb. Uh, I'm going to cast the bolus here. At the very least, I'm going to gain some life. I might get spell pierced. Do we try to just kill the Spectre Cell or do we draw a card? Well, he's gonna die regardless. I'm gonna draw a card. Potentially wrong. So next turn I can play Beacon, Karn, grab Ratchet Bomb, play Ratchet Bomb? My hope is that they're going to focus Bolas down, which will essentially just give me more more time. Okay, another land. So they, they're running low on gas in their hand potentially. If they uh, if they choose to target Bolas down, then that is good for us. And they they can't really justify going half in on Bolas here. They're going half in on Bolas here. Interesting. They're gonna draw two cards though. What a drop of power. So that's not great. Because we're almost certainly not gonna be able to resolve anything, essentially. Ratchet Bomb we need to turn on. Part of Kieran? I could potentially do Heart of Kieran? Does this resolve? It does, okay. It's very possible I should have uh, plussed first, but I wanted options. Okay. Let your weak minds crumble. At 13, we have two Planeswalkers. Who only has two cards in hand. I essentially have to block. Um, the Spectre Sailor, I think, is the one that makes the most sense. Attacking Bolas. And also attacking Bolas. It's only cost, it's cost uh, 8 minus 2 is 6. They have 6. Theoretically, I can force my opponent to put counters on Terramander. I think we're going to accept that Bolas has to die. <laughs> Your assault is insulting. Gonna block the Sailor. We're really going to attempt to block the Sailor. Unsummon. That's 
pretty bad for me. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Could still use a language. I just have to grab Ratchet Bomb, don't I? Probably just dead in the sky, so I have to play Heart of Kiran as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, like, technically speaking, I could grab a Noxious Gear Hulk. But, like, they. they, they. They'd be able to cover it. One, two, three, seven. I think I have to just. I think at this point, um, I'm just. Ah. It costs five to activate. It's five. Maybe I can block with these. Six, seven. I'm going for this. Oh. Yep. I realize it's actually not good. I should have cast Heart of Kirin first to see if it resolved. Oh, I'm dumb. They can activate one of these now. Activate the other one later. Yeah, I'm just boned, actually. Pretty sure I am just boned. But they just activate Terramander, instant speed, activate another Terramander on my turn. On their turn. Go Vandal, sure. Opt, sure. So I think I have to block this. Storm Tamer is fine. Each cost four. I die if I mean I die if uh, this doesn't go through. So. Is it bounced again? Looks like it does. Oh my gosh, it doesn't. Let's see if I block here. They activate. I take uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I literally have to do this. I guess I can force them. I guess. I guess I can force them, right? Because this way I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Although I realize now I still just I still just died to the fairy vandals. Oh wait, wait, wait. Five, six, seven, eight. Nope, nope, nope. It has to be this, doesn't it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I block one of the terramenders, the other one goes to five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I have to block like this. I hope I did my math right. I am technically alive. That land is bad for me. I'm 
unfortunately, I still lose. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can crack this ratchet bomb and wipe half dudes aboard. I still just die. Even with Eliminate to kill this, I don't have enough life. This isn't going to gain me any more life from these. Well, if I'm going to fight it, I mean... Oh, I guess I can crack Mind Stone. Crack Mind Stone, see if I can get anything here. Nope. We're still, yeah, we're dead. Dang, sucks, because we, we do this. We do this. And for what it's worth, sure, technically I could have killed their stuff first. And they wouldn't have had a pirate, but I still just died of this. Like, I had no way of dealing with that, so. Unfortunately, we just die. Our opponent, for some reason, is continuing to do things. Dick Dast Drick Dastardly, excuse me. Hilarious name. We got some removal spells, we got planeswalkers. Sure. Seems reasonable. Potentially combo. Potentially John. Okay. Let's see what my opponent is working with. Gonna go ahead and uh not let that happen. And uh now the the point of the game is to just uh, keep them off of any creature. Let's hope they didn't top deck a two mana creature. They didn't. Good. We will pass. We might want to kill something else that they could play. Another emissary. Sure. That's something I wouldn't mind killing. Yeah, I'll still do that. Next turn, I can Portis Ride or something. Turn after. I mean, like, technically, I could have just eliminated one of the Burning Trim Serums. I, I take that to mean that they don't have creature. I guess there's... No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stupid. Shut up. Don't listen to me. I'm a dum-dum. Um... I mean, Karn just dies immediately, right? Yeah, it just gives them a target to use, so I'm actually just not going to do that. I'm gonna kill this and then play Murder Strider here. I think it is just a better play, because I don't want them being able to just kill my Karn for free and grow their creature. Galia, sure. Can't reasonably attack. Um. Oh, okay. Um. I'm going to. I'm just going to gain the life here, honestly. Let us begin. Offense, I think I want to get Maze my Tome.
I really want to get Gear Hulk, but I think I have to get Maze Mind Tome just in case we don't draw land next turn. And I think I do want to just attack here. Because my opponent is almost certainly going to um, kill my British Rider and then kill Karn. And if I didn't attack, I would just not have that uh, that life gain. And I can use all the life I can get. So my assumption is Galia hit this. Karn kill. Yep, yep. Don't get me wrong, I still want to top deck a land so I can... Play this go Nope, and this is exactly why we did this. Can we activate this now so that we can potentially draw land so we can play it. And next turn, uh, I am gonna Fossies here. I'm fine getting rid of that. Okay, so I don't have to add a tap particularly for that. Okay, so here we play Golos. We grab. Two. Six. Grabbing this would just be seven. So we need one land past that. Um, instead, I mean, I can play. Yeah, I mean, I can play Bolus next turn anyway. If I grab Cabal Stronghold. I can play Ugin. I'll play the Stronghold here. It's potentially incorrect. Uh, I'm probably going to Scry here, because the life gain is a little bit more important than the card draw. I just need to make it to a point where I can play these. That'll be fine. I block here, if possible. Again, I don't value my Golos here all that much. I'd rather not go to five. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, three, seven. I don't want this. I can play either of these. I do play Ugin first. Because minus two in here means that my Ugin won't die Reality to a hasty threat. Uh, we can draw a card. That's absolutely fine with me. That's just a spell, yeah. So we can kill that with uh, we can kill that with Ugin. And then we can make them get rid of their hand with Bolus. So play this. Attempt to kill this. Play Eugene. Play Eugene, gain another life, force them to lose both their cards. Praise me. Alright. And we pass. Miss this. We have two large planeswalkers at large loyalty. Good stuff. Very good stuff. I will say our opponent did get uh, a little bit bad of a hand. I think the deck did an okay job showcasing. What's in this door? Oh, stonks? Don't mind if I do. By the time this is going up, you uh, won't have stonks. But, uh, you know, that's why you log in every day, even if you're not going to play. All right, so, uh, bowl is black. We essentially see that it operates very similar to the normal chromatic black uh, deck. The, the main issue that I have is uh, I increased... I, I added four boluses or, or five total but i added four 
of uh, Dragon God. I think I probably should cut this back down to three uh, to put the Languish back. Uh, I initially had three Languishes and three Boluses, but I wanted to play more Bolus. Um, so I cut it down. You, you should not do that. Uh, we've got the usual suspects, for, uh, two Blood Chief's Thirst, uh, three Thoughtseize. These are really just helpful early game cards. Thoughtseize just gets rid of things. And uh, even against aggressive decks, like like Thoughtseizing a uh, Burning Tramissary is absolutely worth the two life because not only is it going to attack you probably multiple times, but it's going to accelerate, uh, accelerate them as well. Um, so Thoughtseize is almost always worth it, even against the uh, aggro decks. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst, you just get to kill things and it scales nicely. Eliminate, you get to kill things, including uh, certain Planeswalkers like uh, Narset. Three Mind Stones. Um, I, I like the Mind Stones here because I really want it uh, to accelerate uh, into these cards, especially considering that Mind Stone can help pay for uh, Interplanar Beacon, and the rest, since essentially the rest of the deck um, produces black. I mean, that's not entirely true, but essentially, um, getting an early Nicobolus is actually not terribly hard. Um, you know, three Swamps, a beacon and a mind stone is bolus right uh, and that, i mean that's that's on turn four um right <laughs> through chromatic lantern it's a chromatic deck of course we're playing chromatic lantern you might be wondering where's the fourth one it's in the sideboard so we can get it with karn karn is a dude who has a wish board uh One of the main reasons I decided Karn over Massimo's Acquisition, I generally prefer Acquisition because it allows you to not only get cards from your own deck, but also it allows you to get cards um, uh, from your sideboard that are artifacts. Uh, the reason I chose Karn is one, there are plenty of kind of artifact decks running around right now, and two, it gives me a little bit more life with Interplanar Beacon. Um, even if it's just like one life every two or three games, that in aggregate, if you're playing this deck a lot, can absolutely matter. Uh, we got three Murderous Rider, kills Creatures Planeswalkers, can also gain you life. Uh, three, two Languish, should be three, frankly. Uh, it's it's the kind of the best removal that we have in black right now. Um, I would love to say that Damnation is in this spot, but it isn't. <laughs> three, Solemn Simulacrums, I still love this card in Chromatic Black. It searches for a Swamp for you to, to make your uh, Cabal Stronghold better, and it uh, blocks beautifully, doesn't die to your own Ugin. You get to draw a card when it dies, it's just crisp stuff. Four Nicobolises, should be three, uh, is the reason you're playing the deck. <laughs> Four Goloses, technically the reason you're playing the deck. Uh, this just allows you to get uh, insane value if you can, you know, have a Chromatic Lantern out or a Cascading Cataracts, being able to just um, pay seven mana. And just, like, cast a bunch of things. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what's not to love. Uh, you can play them, so you can even, like, uh, sometimes you'll want to activate this before you play a land, so that you can uh, play the land that you get off of this keeping more cards in your hand uh, if this ends up dying it's just it's good stuff also it's a, it accelerates you it is a three five body like it's just a good card uh six mana ugin hey look we're running a decent number of uh cards that are uh, either artifacts or colorless well i guess just colorless um and bada bing bada boom it makes them cheaper also we get the exile thing or we can make a dude <laughs> big nikki b uh if i'm playing big ugin i'm playing big nikki b i'm playing both these cards uh, this is the mana base, one Cascading Cataracts, uh, three Beacon, three Stronghold, and 18 Swamps. Uh, seems pretty reasonable to me. And I'm not actually going to go through uh, the entirety of the sideboard. It kind of just makes sense, right? We, ha we have some uh, Graveyard Hate. We have some defense, essentially. Um, random anti-Planeswalker stuff, anti-aggro uh, stuff. This is essentially a meme. Uh, I think this was like the 15th card I put in. Um, that's another issue that I have with the card sideboard, is that I feel like... Uh, I feel like sometimes I'm stretching to, to play. Like, I'm very rarely going to grab Planar Bridge. Whereas if this was Massimo's Acquisition, each one of these cards, I would have a dedicated scenario to use. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I definitely like this style of Bolus. The Bolus Black, as it were. And I have, uh, as I said, a bunch of other uh, Bolus versions. Uh, I will be trying to make um, John de Blue, which is Steamy Salt Eye, is different from Wet Jund. Okay. Steamy salt eye, you add a little bit of that heat. With wet jund, you splash jund in the face a little bit. Okay. I'm going to try and make that as well. Uh, so we have a lot of interesting bolus uh, in, in the coming weeks. Um, I implore you to watch the... Um, not only the... Uh, Soul Ring video. Because the, the Mondays, they're here to stay as EDH content. Whether you like it or not, hopefully uh, you like it. Um, and then I really implore you to watch the um, the sponsor that I did for um, 
Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I forgot. I'm not uh, screen capping. Uh, this is what I did for Aether, uh, Aether Hub slash uh, MTGA Tracker. This video, this video not sponsored. That video was, but, you know, it's a product that I, I literally use, right? Like, I use this thing. People ask me in the comments what deck tracker I use. It's this one. I go over a lot of the features. It's a great deck tracker. Watch that video, please. It really helps out the channel. Um, beyond, like, all of the other things that I say, like, watching that, that specifically really helps out the channel. Uh, anyway, uh, I have a P.O. box. Send me stuff. I'll open it on the camera. Uh, I'd like to thank the lovely patrons, especially Fogwin, Malik, and Balatar for the continued support. If you'd like to join them and support the show, you'll find links in the description. Um, uh, where are they? Uh, down below. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed this video and all that good stuff. And, of course, until next time, I'll be one.